data analysis course myself assistant professor vinay prabhavalkar from the department of csc aml at kits college of engineering autonomous kolhapur this is lesson 5 from unit number 1 the objective of this particular unit is to learn the concept of normal distribution so let's get started normal distribution is also called as gaussian distribution so basically normal distribution is nothing but it is a way to understand the distribution of data points present in a data set here we can see there is a graphical representation of normal distribution basically it is nothing but a curve and this particular curve is having a shape of a bell so here a normal distribution is also called as a bell shaped curve let us go ahead and interpret this particular image with more understanding the very first point that we need to consider here is at the center for the vertical and the horizontal both the axis we have a zero and on the x axis we have a positive right hand side and on the x axis on the left side we have the negative points so on the right hand side we have the positive points on on the left hand side we have the negative points and in between there is a zero so basically this particular zero is nothing but it is called as a mean now the concept of mean and some allied concepts i am going to explain to you in the next slide further in this particular image let us understand some more things we have a few values positive values on the y axis then in this particular image we have three different bell curves as we can see here the first bell curve is let's say in green which is having a mean of minus 2 and the standard deviation of 2 the second bell curve is let's say is in red with a mean of 2 and a standard deviation of 0.5 and the third bell curve is in blue color which is having a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 so what do we understand by these three examples these three examples actually give us the distribution of the data points which we call it as a probability distribution of the points and this distribution of points is with respect to the center point zero that is we call it as a mean so here we have a few concepts like mean additionally there are few more that i am going to show it to you those are nothing but in addition to mean we have median and mode now all the three points are nothing but these three concepts related to the statistical domain let us understand these three points with the help of an example in order to understand the concept of normal distribution in a better way we'll consider this example now in this example we can see there are total nine data points okay and the values of the data points are given over here 13 13 13 13 4 we have then we have 14 14 2 times 14 we have then we have 16 then 18 and then 21 so suppose these are my data points now with respect to these three data these nine data points we are going to find out three concepts first is the mean second is the median and third is the mode and we are going to apply these points in a way to understand the concept of normal distribution for better way better understanding now first of all let's calculate mean now what is mean mean is in other words or layman terms can be called as an average so whatever data points we have over here 
we can draw their average and the formula for drawing the average is the normal one that we use we have to sum up all of these nine points and divide by the total number of points that we have so if we calculate this particular calculation the answer comes up here is 15 so the point to understand here is for this particular set of data points we have an average or mean of 15 then the concept of median median in layman terms can be called as a midpoint now in this particular sequence of points we have nine different data points so if we want to find out a mid portion of this particular sequence what we can do is we can consider four points on the left we can consider four points on the right and the point that is left at the center is now going to be our median point which is nothing but the midpoint now this is quite easy because we have a odd number of points data points in this example if we have even number of data points then what we need to do we need to consider two points at the center and calculate their average and that is going to be our midpoint that is the median point sorry then the third one that is a mode here it is quite clear from this particular hint the data point that is occurred for the most number of times is nothing but it is the mode of that particular sequence so if we consider this particular sequence we can see here that number 13 has occurred four times right so this particular number 13 is nothing but our mode value so this is how you actually find out the mean median and mode now these three points are associated with the concept of normal distribution and hence we are actually looking at those if we come back again to our slide we can see here there is a concept of mean 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 right but here we are not getting to understand the concept of mode and the median additionally you can see here there is another point that is standard deviation which we haven't covered up till now so let's go ahead and see this particular concept in our next video that is the video number six lesson number six. Thank you.